What are you doing? <laughs> so digging a hole one by one meter and three meters deep for the uh, for the earth and for the electricity. We've got two more holes to dig. Um, one of them bigger than this, and I'm not sure on the size of the other, which is, I believe, for the septic tank and the water. This soup kitchen will help roughly about 50 families, uh, which if you think about it, is about 250 people. Um, so what it allows them to do, it's not necessarily a case of a handout. A lot of the families will pull their resources together to have this shared space. Thank you very much for help us and all these families around. Many families will be here yep. since next Monday. So this is what we're going to be replacing uh, with, the, with the Commodore that we're building just at the bottom of the hill there. So it was really brilliant and then they all came in, um, celebrated with us, did a, like, a little ceremony, thanked us for being there um, and then fed us um, and then gave down a bowl of champagne and was hanging on the door ready to push in the building. I, I hope this place makes them very happy. We hope that this place will be a little bit of Thank you. Uh, we are now full on playing. We've got one bunch of legends playing over there, and this bunch of legends are about to play ballet. We're going to play some volleyball. Celia, where are we taking them today? School. So we're off on the bus today, taking the kids out for a day trip, which yeah, it's going to be great. Spending a lot of time with the kids has been absolutely amazing. They're incredible, they're so happy, they just want to be around you. Uh, so I'm really happy to uh, give something back. Yep. And uh, yeah, obviously we're here on a mission to progressing lives everywhere. That's, that's what's really, really special about this place is, you know, taking uh, children from quite horrific backgrounds mm. and giving them love, purpose, uh, and things like that. It's, it's really quite an astounding project. Mm. 